Back up in bluegrass banjo all begins with what's known as boom check. So that's merely a thumb on the fourth string and then pinch strings three, two, and one. Notice I release a little pressure dampening the strings on the offbeat. One, two, three, four. As the tempo gets faster, you hear people actually do this. They leave off that initial thumb on beats one and three. One, two, three, four, one, two. Well, I'm rolling my sweet baby's arm. So that's all fine and good, but if you do that for every song, every song's gonna sound the same. And if you're playing with a mandolin player, they're already doing that offbeat chop. So in this video, we're gonna give you eight different ideas to play some new interesting patterns that'll make your backup sound great. One of the easiest things to do to make your backup sound a little more interesting is to be thinking of doing a basic roll instead of just the boom chick. So in this case, I'm going to start with what's known as a forward-backward roll. And if we put that with some chords, it might sound like this backing up the song Dooley. Dooley was a good old man who lived below the mill. Dooley had two daughters and a forty-gallon still. Another pattern I came up with early in my playing was a half boom chick, meaning that the first two beats I have a thumb pinch two, and then I go ahead and play a simple alternating roll going outside, inside. That last note a lot of times, I'll be off the chord moving toward the next chord. So using this pattern, which is one, two, three, and four, and with the chords to Salty Dog, we come up with Let me be your salty dog I won't be your little man at all Honey, let me be your salty dog So a couple things happen there. When I get to the A chord and it lasts two measures, First measure is the basic pattern, but then I just keep that four note alternating roll going. And when you get to the end, you can put in your normal tag licks. Whichever one you choose to use. Here's that same pattern again, but this time I will use chord positions that move up the neck. Let me be your salty dog, I won't be your little man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. I recently did a video lesson on the song Wayfaring Stranger in which I showed this as a backup pattern. Two quarter notes, four eighth notes. songs at slower tempos opens up all kinds of possibilities because you can double up your thumb and double up your pinches on your eighth notes, such as in a pattern like this. And the count on that is one and two and three and four. And I do do a little dampening there on the pinches. So I like using that in a song like Dark Hollow when it's performed at a slower tempo. I'd rather live in some Dark Hollow. And you can include ideas like filling in the holes. I'd rather live in some Dark Hollow. So 
speaking of slower tempos, usually 3-4 time songs are played at slower speeds and you can come up with a lot of really nice patterns that work in the 3-4 time signature. One of them that I like to use is simply the forward-backward roll, but you stop it at B3. One and two and three and one and two and three and put that together with Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. So sticking with the ideas of using rolls, I like to use a forward roll, two groups of three. And notice that when you're in 3-4 time, you do tend to play things with that little bit of banjo shuffle, banjo hop. And so I might put that with uh, angel bands on the chorus. Oh, mention that if you're not already up to speed on these full position chords that I'm using, you can use these off of your simple open chords. Oh, come angel band, come and me spin. So there I used a D7 and an open G instead of the full G and the full D. Like we did in 4-4 four, four time, I've come up with a pattern where I can double thumb it and put a pinch in there. One and two and three, one and two and three. I like using that for the song In the Pines. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines, and you shiver. Another 3-4 time pattern I enjoy is one where I use a pinch and then a roll. And I count that one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. And I might use that in the song Down in the Willow Garden. Down in the When you get a chance, you may want to explore the many other backup videos that I have available. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll always know when a new video comes out.